That's why we got to just like wing this today. We have to just make this up. So let's begin. First step is that I decided to take my spiritual tea that I like to drink. So anytime I do, a lot of times when I do videos, especially I like to drink this tea. And then at night when I want to do some really good dream work, I'll drink this tea. This tea comprises, it's comprised of, I think mugwort's in there. I don't know for sure. Daviana, passion flower, and hibiscus. So this is one of my own, like I just took my herbs and made my own blend, but I don't remember if I put mugwort in there. So this tea gets me in the mood and I hope you're in the mood. Are you in the mood to make a cacao ceremony? I hope you are. You don't need much, honestly. Um, the thing, the biggest thing that you need is really the cacao paste. So I think we should just get started. So the first thing I'm gonna get started on is actually making the tea base. So the tea base is, like I said, is gonna be rose. So this is how I'm gonna do it. Using my kettle, because I love my kettle. You guys, I hope you have one of these. You should have one. So if you don't have one of these, I love these. This is the kind where you can decide the temperature of your tea. And this is of course gonna be boiled because we're doing herbs, but my but I like my green tea, my white tea, and then delicate. So you could, I love these. I think it's great. I always wanted one when I first started working um, in the tea shop and learning about tea. And so today, of course, we're gonna be boiling it. So here's my water over here. I like room temperature water. I don't like water from my refrigerator, so I always keep it out here. I think that's enough. I mean, it's just for me, so it's not like. Not, I'm not forcing anyone else to drink this concoction, and we don't know how it's gonna taste. It might just taste gross. I'm trying to make it taste kind of good by mixing these herbs in here and this like cotton, this spice combination, but I really don't know. Okay. So while that goes, we're gonna use this. This uh, this is like a old school Tivana infuser. And so I am going to use this to essentially put all the stuff in there so that it opens up. I have a smaller infuser, looks like this, but that's too small, right? Um, and then my other one, I can't find it, I don't know where it is. I have a slightly larger one that we could have used, but I think this is gonna work out the best. So, and you'll be able to see it kind of change colors if colors are gonna change. So I'm gonna just start adding my ingredients into the thing in here. So first step, habanero flakes, definitely. Um, we'll put this into the tea part. Everything that needs to be filtered out, I'm gonna put in the tea part. I guess we don't need that much. Ooh, uh-oh. You know what, I probably put too much. I probably, I probably, I probably put too much. Oh well, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living a wild life. <laughs> all right, this is all that I'm gonna need. So I got my rose tea here. I'm gonna put probably about. I don't know. I think that's enough. You really don't, when you're making tea, by the way, people, you don't have to overdo it. So there we go. I think that's enough of the rose. You really don't have to overdo it. That's probably more than enough. Those are actual rose um, buds and they smell, it smells delicious in the vine. So hopefully this works. The cardamom is in the house. Let's, let's see, let's measure it out. I like to use measuring spoons, but not pay attention to what I'm measuring, because this is fun. Okay, so we're gonna measure this out. Okay, the pepper is getting to me, which is good. That means that this is gonna be a thrilling ride. <laughs> All right, so I think I put a fourth, a fourth uh, of, yeah, of a teaspoon. That feels right with cardamom. You can, you can do too much in, card, in the cardamom world, if you ask me. You know, we want to have a, a flavor balance, if you will. All right, so now I got cinnamon. I'm going to just put all this, uh, the rest of the cinnamon in here. Um, I had grounded up some cinnamon a while ago. I kind of broke it up. So I'll just put the rest of that in there. Now, cinnamon is great. It actually adds a natural sweetness 
Anytime you brew it, and now if you are listening, aha, uh -huh, it's ready. So, 